Today turned out to be a great day. Not only was it so much fun, but it ended with a beautiful gift. But before I jump into the fun portion of this video, there were a few things that I needed to handle. First, I needed to make my bed because we were getting ready to go grocery shopping. Over the last 10 years, we've been on a journey of health that for us truly starts with our food. Because of my perimenopause and everything that comes with that, so many times I felt at a loss, like there was nothing I could do to make things better. I felt like I was exercising and eating healthy for no reason because I still was experiencing all those symptoms and I just couldn't control it. With that said, I actually did not give up on my journey of health though. I continued perfecting my diet and although sometimes I've fallen off the wagon, so to speak, we always find our way back and because of that, I've seen a great reward, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys in a few minutes. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with hypertension because my blood pressure was in the 200s. I was put on medication and thankfully I got it under control. But since we've moved to Georgia, I've really been focusing on my working out and the kinds of foods that I eat, specifically with the kind of ingredients that we bring into our home. And for the most part, everything we buy is either organic or non-GMO. Our biggest goal is to eliminate all chemicals from our foods. Like everything we eat, we try to make it organic or non-GMO. We moved into our house in June of this year. So it's been about five months now. And because of how diligent we've been with our groceries and making sure that we eat as clean as possible, things are changing. I've been off my blood pressure medication now for over a month and it is so normal that I can't believe it. I am so happy with that gift that I've been given by God. I couldn't be happier. I hated to depend on medication to normalize my blood pressure. So I am so truly grateful for that. One of the things that I've been doing in addition to eating clean my husband makes a tea with ginger, turmeric, um, cayenne pepper, lemon, and apple cider vinegar. And I have a cup every single day. And I truly believe that has really helped in bringing my blood pressure down. These salad toppers right here that you're seeing on screen are awful. <laughs> I will never buy them again. This is really good. Popcorn, you have to indulge a little bit. We don't have it every night, just you know, every once in a while when we're watching a movie. But I like this one because, as you can see, again, clean, organic, non-GMO. Applegate is a really good, good brand. So we're having a big breakfast this weekend with the family over. So we bought some bacon. We don't normally buy that like every single time we go grocery shopping, but when we're having a big breakfast with the family, that's what we do. Tonight we're heading to the For King and Country concert and we bought the tickets a few months ago and we've been looking forward to this night for a very long time and let me tell you they did not disappoint. If you don't know who For King and Country is they are a Christian band. I will leave their information below so you guys can check them out. So I bought a new foundation because I kind of wanted something that was long lasting. The BB cream that I usually wear though I like it doesn't last at all the one that I bought is called I think it's L'Oreal long lasting and I don't love it it basically was just sliding around my entire face so I don't know and I don't even know if it lasted all night so I'm not sure about it but one thing I haven't done yet is replace my non-toxic make my makeup with non-toxic makeup so if you have any suggestions for a good foundation that's non-toxic with you know no like bad chemicals 
let me know below because I would love to know. to pick up our grandson he loves for king and country so we got him a ticket too and he had so much fun he truly enjoyed the concert it was his very first one and he had a blast i am a two cup of coffee a person day and on this day i had only had one and i needed another one otherwise i was going to get a headache so we had never been to this venue before and it was pretty nice, not too big, but big enough to make you feel like you were at a big concert. There was a little bit of a wait. We had to wait about 20 minutes outside, but it wasn't too bad. And once we went inside, we picked up something to eat because we hadn't had dinner yet and we really wanted him to have the whole experience of going to a concert and just having a good old time. I've definitely got the concert bug now since this concert. I've looked up how many more concerts I can attend. So some of my favorite bands were coming actually in November and I couldn't get tickets. But starting January, I'm going to start booking some of these bands because I cannot wait to see them. <laughs> I want to share with you guys the buzz in the room right as the concert was about to start. Enjoy. So one of the best things about the concert is that during the concert, they took a moment to talk about the importance of giving. They had a representative there from Compassion International. If you don't know what that is, this is a Christian organization dedicated to releasing children from poverty by giving us the opportunity to sponsor a child. This isn't my first time sponsoring a child and I feel so happy that I got the opportunity to do it again. If you feel compelled to learn more about how you might be able to help one of these little angels, I will leave Compassion International's website below for you guys to take a look. After the concert, I was super tired. I had a bit of a headache in case you can't tell, but it was an amazing night that I will remember forever. I pray that this video finds the right audience. I pray that somebody sponsors a little child from Compassion International. If you do end up sponsoring a child, I would love for you to let me know below because that will make me super happy. Until next time, you guys, God bless you.